Hello, greetings from the future. Today I'm gonna to show you how to track a hologram over a phone or a tablet in Motion 5 or Final Cut Pro using Motion VFX's brand new M Tracker 3D plugin. Let's get started. All right, so here we have Motion open and we have our footage that we need to track imported. Go to your filters and scroll down to Motion VFX. You'll find the M Tracker 3D plugin available. Select it, drag it onto your footage that you need to track, and you'll notice one button is available. Click this button to track your footage. Once your footage is done tracking, select your target button and find where you want to place your object in 3D space. We're gonna scrub through just to make sure that we're exactly where we wanna be. Upon reviewing my timeline, I noticed that I need to change the placement of my 3D object in 3D space. It's very simple to do, just click a new location and the entire timeline will be updated. We now want to apply this information into Motion. Go in your library to your favorites folder. Now notice M Tracker 3D automatically updates this information with each click that you make. You wanna grab your camera and your 3D group, drag those into your project above your first group. Upon doing this, you'll notice you need to switch motion to 3D. Once everything goes black, that's perfectly okay. Switch your first group back to a 2D group by clicking this button. We now have our 3D gizmo placed perfectly into our footage using the M-Tracker 3D plugin. Now let's import the content that we want to have tracked over our phone. I have a pre-rendered hologram that I shot on green screen and rendered in Final Cut Pro exporting with an alpha channel. This hologram will be included in the M Tracker 3D bundle pack. Click import. We'll want to place our new content into our 3D group below our camera. Your content may disappear and that's quite all right. You'll want to have your content selected and go over to your properties and reset all of your position parameters in your properties. Now that we've reset our parameters, we can scale our footage to match our scene. We can now position our content over the phone where we want it to be. Notice we're staying inside of our 3D group which means all of that tracked information is still based on the anchor point of the 3D group. I notice as I scroll to the side, my rotation is a bit off, so I'll make that adjustment. You won't want to change the position of your anchor point in your 3D group, but you can make changes to your rotation or even your scale. This is looking really good, but I do notice toward the end of my clip, as I come forward in 3D space, the scale of my hologram is just a bit too big. So I'm going to select my original content and bring my scale down and reposition accordingly. Hello, greetings from the future. Today I'm gonna to show you how to track a hologram over a phone or a tablet in Motion 5 or Final Cut Pro using Motion VFX's brand new M Tracker 3D plugin.